Central Booking saw more misdemeanor cannabis convictions than anywhere else in the state. The governor used his pen to write history. With deep pride and soberness, I will pardon over 175,000 convictions. Symbolically, the governor used a last prison project pen to sign the executive order. It grants clemency to more than 175,000 convictions on misdemeanor cannabis possession and drug paraphernalia charges. The last prison project organized letters to elected officials asking for justice. We cannot celebrate the benefits of legalization if we do not address the consequences of criminalization. Public reaction is strong. It's great. I think as long as it's not a lot of marijuana, a little bit, yes. So maybe we can have more people out here and they can get a job, you know, without that conviction, just for a small amount of marijuana. If it was a lot, that was a diff it's a different story. I mean, there's dispensaries all over the place. It's legal now in the state. To put the enormity of the pardon in perspective, the number of convictions would fill two M&T Bank stadiums. The pardon forgives more than 150,000 misdemeanor convictions for simple possession, more than 18,000 for use or possession with the intent to use drug paraphernalia, and 25% of those convictions come from Baltimore City. The impact is a triumphant victory for African Americans and other Marylanders of color who were disproportionately arrested, convicted, and sentenced for actions yesterday that are lawful today. According to the governor's press office, before legalization, black Marylanders were three times more likely to be arrested and convicted than whites. Having a conviction on your record means a harder time with everything, everything, from housing to employment to education. People can now check no convictions on a job and other applications. However, legal experts say it's up to the courts to expunge the record and not everyone will be eligible. Under Maryland law, those in violation of probation aren't permitted to seek expungement. Many believe the governor's action is a step in the right direction. It's a good thing, you know. People, uh, people deserve better. People deserve forgiveness. David Collins, WBAL TV 11 News. And our coverage continues in the WBAL TV app. Go by the numbers and see how many pardons there are county by county, as well as watch the governor's news conference in its entirety.